What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk today about Lori Strode not being that important in regards to Halloween kills. And when I say she's probably not going to be that important, of course, we're going to see her. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is back in. We know she's going to be back for Halloween kills and Halloween ends. I'm talking about the fact that we've gotten more emphasis put on the fact that we have all these returning characters coming back and how it's going to be exploring their trauma and how we'll find out what they've been going through the past 40 years and how they've coped with it we got tommy doyle coming back we got kyle richards coming back to reprise her role as L little Lindsay wallace from the original 1978 film we have marion chambers coming back and we also have a surprise character that we still don't know who it is. A lot of people have already come to the conclusion that it's Dr. Loomis. I'm pretty confident it's going to be Dr. Loomis. If it's somehow Danielle Harris, I, I'll be really shocked about that. I'd be more shocked if it's Danielle Harris than if it's Dr. Loomis. I think it's Dr. Loomis. But to get into what I want to talk about, I'm pretty confident that Laurie Strode will spend most of this movie to tie down to a hospital um if not most most of her screen time will be spent in the hospital while we're navigating the rest of Haddonfield watching these characters get stalked by Michael so we'd be having a little session with Tommy Doyle then we'll jump to Lindsay Wallace then we'll jump to Marion Chambers because we do see like a screen cap of them all together a little screen screen cap of the filming process for Halloween Kills has been been like broadcast i think bloody disgusting is the one that had this picture floating around they probably got it from another source but i know i saw it on bloody disgusting we have a scene that we're going to get in halloween kills where we have tommy doyle marion chambers and lindsey wallace all together and pretty much i honestly think that the movie is going to probably branch out i'd like to see that branch out into a spending time with all three of these characters ultimately leading us back to the hospital where they'll be reunited with Lori strode or maybe they go to the hospital first thing first thing after hearing about Lori strode and then being tipped off about everything they go out and they try to hunt down michael myers i could see tommy doyle being the one to do that marion chambers and Lindsay, i don't see them doing it as we all know marion chambers was the was the nurse or like the assistant to dr loomis from the original movie so m perhaps we see some type of interaction between her and michael myers i honestly think marion chambers is going to die i think Lindsay wallace is going to die and i think that tommy doyle is going to die i think um i think all of them are going to die but what I wanted to get more into is this Laura Strode thing. Jamie Lee Curtis, she's going to, I feel like she's going to take a back seat just because of how she's been presented in these trailers, how she's been presented with these uh, previews for these, for the film so far, and how we haven't really gotten to see too much of her in regards to any action packs, action packed shots for Halloween kills. All we've gotten is her laying in the hospital. So, it's safe to assume that that's where she's going to spend a majority of this film while we spend more time catching up on our supporting cast uh allison strode cameron uh karen strode the officer from the original from the from the 2018 movie i can't think of his name i believe again it's hawkins um and speaking of hawkins i honestly feel like he should have been the sheriff in halloween 2018 because the actual sheriff he is in like one scene and then he's gone i don't understand that i feel like hawkins should have been the sheriff but whatever <laughs> and then of course we're gonna get we have can't forget charles cyphers coming back to play uh sheriff bracket we'll be spending a lot more time with him to catch up on how he's been dealing with this for the past 40 years his thoughts on losing annie maybe we'll get a flashback to 1978 not an actual flashback but they'll probably insert a clip from that original movie if they have the if they have the uh legal obligations to do that and we see a clip of annie from the 1978 movie with Lori and i can't think of the other linda <laughs> linda i can i always forget linda's name 
we'll probably get a clip of Lori, Annie, and Linda together again from the original movie for like a nostalgia type of vibe when he's reminiscing about Annie and how he lost her to Michael Myers and how he wants vengeance. I don't see him going after Michael in this movie. I think he's going to be at the hospital in a security capacity, and that's how he'll come across Lori Strode again. And then, of course, they'll reconnect. We'll find out how he's been coping and dealing with the loss of his daughter. And Lori Strode, like I said before, she's going to spend most of this film tied down to a bed in the hospital. Because my honest opinion, they're going to go. I feel like Halloween Kills will be more about us branching out and reconnecting with old old characters that we haven't seen in 40 years per continuity because we know we've seen these characters in other sequels um not necessarily lindsey wallace and charles cypher's character of sheriff bracket because he hasn't been present in a halloween movie sheriff bracket hasn't been around since or mentioned since halloween 4 he got briefly mentioned in halloween 4 but he hasn't actually been in one of these movies since halloween 2 from 1981 and that no longer is canon so we haven't seen those two characters really since the 1978 film tommy doyle we know he came back in halloween 6 they say he was in halloween 4 apparently that guy that was in the store with uh uh wade and the other the other guy i can't think of his name brady one of the blonde kid apparently that was supposed to be tommy doyle and lindsey wallace we've seen her apparently too in the franchise again because in halloween 4 for some reason it's it's everyone thinks that that's Lindsay from because what happens is when jamie and uh rachel are in the car on their way to the costume shop or the discount mart wherever they're going to get ice cream you know get jamie a costume she says um uh, she says to uh jamie you remember uh lindsey don't you know apparently that's supposed to be lindsey wallace now i don't know how true that is i don't think that's lindsey wallace at all i don't think that was tommy doyle uh that we got in the uh in the fourth film either but getting back to what i want to talk about i think most of this movie is going to be about catching up with those characters letting the audience get to build some connection to them because we already have a connection to the character of laurie strode without having that much character development involved in it because the character of laurie strode is like the heart of she's she's what she means to michael to the halloween franchise what Sidney prescott means to the scream series her and michael myers are the meat and potatoes of this franchise they have enough character development i feel like halloween kills will let her be on the back burner a bit so we can catch up with kyle richards who's reprising a role she hasn't been in for over 40 years at this point she we're going to be catching up with charles cypher's character sheriff bracket to understand their trauma and jamie lee curtis herself has mentioned made mention of this in interviews i believe talking about how halloween kills will be more about understanding how this how that event affected everyone and not just Lori strode now we're going to get to see everyone's story and how they've progressed and moved on from that event and how it shaped their future and their reality and how they want to be the ones to now take back that narrative and no longer be victims uh the way that Lori strode has seen herself for the past 40 years she's seen herself as being a victim um i honestly believe we'll end up just getting a lot of scenes with with our returning cast members we won't see too much of Lori strode outside of the end and just bits in between where we're catching up with her in the hospital and of course the scene and the sequences that we all are pretty much confident we're going to get where michael goes to the hospital to to trace her down and she confronts him and then that of course will bridge off into halloween ends but i'm really thinking that what we'll end up seeing is just her being in the hospital not that much heavily involved outside of the fact that we'll see characters reconnect with her she's going to be spending most of this film recovering for her wounds to prepare for the inevitable final showdown the main event this is like halloween kills is laura strode's intermission and then halloween ends is going to be when she goes into round two it's going to be michael versus Lori full strong but halloween kills we're going to spend our time connecting and getting back in into touch with uh lindsey tommy marion chambers sheriff bracket before we have to say goodbye to them for Lori and michael have their final stand <laughs> 
But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.